Well, I'm out here um, to work on a project with, um, with some of my colleagues here in the Seattle office. I've been working with them now for about four years, so it's great to get out here um, and meet some of the folks um, that I've been working with for, for so long. Seattle and London are, are in a sense quite similar in that you know there is there is quite a lot of kind of tech innovation going on in both towns at the moment. And in London, we've got you know some good traditional you know technology um, activity going on. Um, we've also got a really interesting area called the Silicon Roundabout, which is um, in East London, and it's kind of like a little petri dish of um, you know young companies that are trying to make their way in technology. So we're really excited about the impact that's going to have. It's really exciting time to be doing PR in this sector right now in both cities. From a brand point of view, social is, is playing such an important part. I uh, had a great um, interaction, I suppose you'd call it, with a brand called Red or Dead. I actually sport their glasses on a regular basis and I had this fantastic black and white zebra pair. And my fiance hated them with a passion. Went running home, broke them in my bag, tweeted the next day, absolutely devastated, I've lost my creative specs. And Red or Dead came back to me on Twitter and said, look, Joe, can you just send us a photo on email of you wearing the glasses? Sent it across and lo and behold, three days later, on my desk, a brand new set of frames. My fiance, she was very disappointed that these glasses had come back from the dead. But I think that's a great insight as to how social is changing the game for brands. I mean, I'll, I will always buy Red or Dead glasses from here on in, and that's the point. I blogged about it, which meant that, you know, the regular followers of my blog would have seen it, and, and that really is exactly what you want to achieve as a, as a communications person. Those, those glasses probably cost them 20 quid to send them to me, but, you know, they've got an advocate for life.